it's Sandra and Dina holding a can. Oh, What's the lady with the? I'm um, Vanna. I've always wanted to be Vanna and a Bob Barker well, beauty. Today a Barker I'm beauty. Bob Barker and you're Vanna. It's two <laughs> different shows together. Damn so it! Well, together we just make the best of the fusion. We're like a fusion restaurant. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. It's time for Best of Beauty 2015. What was your thought process when you were selecting these products? Because we don't have that many. We tried to keep it as curated as possible because we don't want to sit here and talk here for an hour. My skin's definitely changing. I'm getting... Time is passing, so I'm getting a little older. And my skin's changing and I'm trying to figure out what's happening next. So I'm trying to keep up with uh, products that way. So my products yeah, are not as changing. oily as you used to be, no, right? So we used no. to both have super, super oily skin. Still combination, not as oily. I still can't use heavy creams though. I haven't really been purchasing as many makeup products as before. And also getting married and moving into an apartment and then getting rid of more stuff. By Living myself, la vida loca. Not doing <laughs> makeup anymore on people and just getting rid of stuff. So yeah, like you're like, oh, I don't need it. I don't need this. I don't need this. And then we talk to each other all the time and we're just like, we're going to be at a band this week. We're not buying anything. And then, you know, we really don't and it's good. And it, have an encouraging friend. I love makeup and I still think like we buy more than like the regular, yeah, the regular do. consumer does. We but do. it's just every, every single week I used to just browse a Sephora website or browse a bunch yes. of blogs oh, and I used yeah. to just buy stuff. Yeah. Now I think about it. I make, I make like a fake cart or a wish list and then when I look back on it and I obviously I don't buy anything and then I revisit the list a week later I'm like why did I want all this? You see that a lot a lot of promotions or limited editions are just re-promoted promoted, yeah. colors or you know things that have come out before so if you look in your drawer I'm pretty sure you can find something that is similar to what is being pushed. I mean I have products that I love that are limited that have been limited edition but I just, I never buy more than one. Yeah. And then I find that by the time I use up that one product, either the same brand or another brand will come out with something very similar or better. And I feel like the need is satisfied that way. And that was really embarrassing too. She's like, oh, what did you purchase this year? I'm like, or what, you know, she's really good about going through stuff and getting empties. And I'm not good at empties because I keep buying <laughs> things and new stuff. I have to stop that. I have to put a ban on myself and actually use up, you know, Concealers. I have two La Mer concealers, one in light and one in medium. I'm not even near the surface. I know, I, I have not one La Mer concealer surface. and I've been trying to use it up so much. You had pan still, in the middle. I had That's pan in awesome. the middle. awesome. Not yeah. even near like this. I'm not even touching. And it's not even that good of a concealer. No, I have two of them. I'm going to start with one of the things that I actually got it, well not this exact one, but I got a Lolabo because of yeah, you. Because yeah. last year, 2014 favorites, she had a Lolabo fragrance that she really loved. I tried it on, I fell in love, mm -hmm. I looked more into the brand, and I bought this Rose 31, and I've just, I, I have, oh, it's so good. <laughs> Yes, it is good. It's just and a really, it's awesome. It's just like, a, it's like a smoky rose, but it's not very super, super heavy woodsy. It's right. not like winter's own, winter only. I can wear this in the summer. I can wear this year round and I just, I really like it. So it's my number one. I have um, my Neutrogena body oil. I use it after the shower and I use it when I have dry skin. It's really good for all year long, especially in the winter time. Nice. Buyer beware if you use it um, on kind of damp skin. Use it at night because you're gonna be oil slick. It's just I get this fragrance free just is because I like to wear oil? it. It is sesame oil. Oh, cool. Yeah, I really like it. Nice. It's pretty inexpensive. I love oils. I bought that L'Occitane um, all the shower oil. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, so I, I use that, that one and then I use this one and I really feel like super hydrated. For me, I have nail polish and I've, I've found a lot of nail polishes that I like this year, but as a brand, I I feel like I, I discovered Smith and Colts at the end of last year. And these are my two favorite colors. This is Gay Ponies Dancing in the Snow. And this is Bitter Buddhist. And I just love, I love the packaging. Yeah. I love the branding. Yeah. And it's super, super heavy. And it's not, I feel like it's the same price as um, Nails Ink mm, nail yeah. polish. And I would buy, I would choose this over Nails Ink any day. This is the same maker from Hard Candy. It's Dina. She's this Persian American girl. She's really cool. Hard Candy came out when I was in middle school. It was a little bottle. It was This is like girl crush. Throwback. Hard, oh my god, hardcore throwback girl crush. But they came out in the 90s and they had these like plastic like rings. So oh. they nail polishes, yeah. Every teenage like girl's dream. This company came out recently. They make lip glosses now too. They do. They have yeah. really cool lip glosses. But so funny. Just an awesome girl. I love all the 
colors too. I feel Best like they're colors. such a such a cool color selection, yeah. cool names. It's just all around. It's a very cool. So you know the thought experience. process going into the bottles too are just awesome. I they know. don't look like anything else out there. All the lids look different. They yeah. look a little bit dented. It's just super super cool. So I have a hairbrush. <laughs> it's called um. Wet brush, Ooh, the wet brush. Yeah, this is my favorite thing. It's in it, and there's my hair in it. It's awesome. It's the only thing that you can use on wet and dry hair that will not break pull your, your hair. hair out. It won't break your hair. This is better than that tangle thing. See, I have the tangle teaser and I like it. But yeah, I haven't. The tangle teaser it. didn't work on my my hair. So mm -hmm. I really like a lot. It's 15 bucks on Amazon, so it's really cheap and good. Nice. And I like it. And it's my second one because don't store this with other things because it'll like rip out the little plastic bits at the end. Ooh, yeah. okay. So it has good. to, it's a little so you just store it, brush. Store it by itself? Yeah, all along. <laughs> so sad. Speaking of hair products, this is my favorite hair product of the year and as you can tell, I'm going to need another one soon. I haven't been using it um, least recently because it's, it's more of like a summer product, but it's Bumble and Bumble Surf Infusion. I never liked the original surf spray by Bumble and Bumble. I found it too drying yeah. and yeah, I have really, really thin, really fine hair. So this is an oil version of it. So I just, I love it. It smells really nice. You shake it up because it's like, it's supposed to be like a bi-phase thing. And you spray it all over your hair, you scrunch it up, and it just gives the nicest waves without feeling crunchy. This is really good and I will definitely be buying it again. My favorite was the Becca Low Light Sculpting Perfector. Ooh. I've shown this in the other video with Sandra. It's awesome, I always wear it. Again, for I think people, it's like your go-to contour now, right? I, that, I don't have any other contour except this is this is my my number one crush. I always have it on. It doesn't turn on me. It doesn't go orange. It's a very it's a shadow. It's a, just a shadow, which is exactly what you want when you contour. And have you ever awesome. tried the uh, the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder? I have it at home. And you I have it. And I you like this better? <laughs> I do because this is. This I've never is, tried the Kevin Aquan, but I know that lots of people love it. I do like it, and sometimes if I really am going out, you do. Both. And I'm maybe yes, but um, this is a bit more malleable. It's easy it's to less work harsh with. Than less Kevin harsh. Aquan. It, it's it's very very soft. Kevin Aquan. I feel like when you. When you put too much on, you're kind of like scrambling to you're buff stuck. it out. Yeah. You're stuck. Yeah. Or well, at least you are contoured, you're like, woo, it's like right there. <laughs> I just use bronzer. I do that too sometimes. So when I'm more tan, but when, when I'm like tan. this, I can't. Well, yeah, I just use dirty. I use the the Too Faced chocolate, the milk chocolate only the lightest one, and it's pretty. I tried to use like a cream one before. I but use Chanel's number thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the like just like a dark. Is it the Le Beige? Le Beige. Yeah. Oh, the Le Beige. I used to use nice. the number forty as a. Powder. The Labeige is really nice. So they're like, sheer. They're a bit more sheer. They're almost yeah. like the mineralized skin again. finish. Yeah. The mineralized skin again. finishes are nice, but they go more orange. Yeah. So well, I yeah. do have a Chanel product here, and Which it's funny because we bought it together. I have Remember, it on. You have it I on. Have it on. It's, a, it's honestly out of all the fancy eyeshadows I bought this yeah. year, this is the one that makes me the happiest, and this is the one that I've used the most. And it's New Moon. It it was limited edition. I think it came out last year, and then they re-released it for like the summer collection this year. But it did not come out of Canada, which is really frustrating. I know that a lot of my Canadian so subscribers are annoyed every time I talk about this. It's still available in the United States. You can get it on Nordstrom online. You can get it on you can get it on the Chanel website. For some reason, it didn't come back in Canada. But and this one is really really creamy. It's creamy, yeah. But it's it's not wet. No. And the best way to apply this is definitely your fingers, fingers yeah. because once you use a brush, you just, you lose the intensity yeah. and you just have glitter just yeah. disappear. But this, you just tap it on. It's like the last step when you do your eyeshadow, just tap yes. it on. Yeah. And because so I noticed nice. that every time I use a crease color, you're yeah, you exactly, can't use it, yeah, you're don't use the glitter away. Yeah, don't use a crease color after. Use right. this, use this a crease color, step. and then use this as the last step. And yeah. I like the color too because I find that it works. You can use it with purples, you can use it with pinks, taupes, you greens, can use it with pinks, mm -hmm. browns. And if you use it on top of browns and golds, it looks warmer. Mm -hmm. If you use it with purples and grays, it looks cooler toned. It's kind of, it kind of warm. Even on greens is really nice too. The next one I have is from Sephora. It's their airbrush foundation in um, Claire Light. I got it because... I bought it too because you told me to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> I bought it, but I bought it medium. And so I bought it medium because they're like, you know, you, the lighting in there is terrible. And yeah, you're like, oh, you're like, this looks, looks yeah, you're like, this looks great. And you go home and you're like, so like Jersey Shore tan. And you're like, oh God, you know, this is terrible. <laughs> so even Claire's a bit too dark, but it's- Is this it's, the lightest one they have? No, because uh, I'm, you know, because I, I would look like my sweater. Because <laughs> I, I need, but I'll take it down my neck sometimes. Because mm -hmm. even if I, I didn't, you can tell how. Mm -hmm. 
like I was lazy and I'm wearing a white sweater and I didn't want like yeah you don't want to get dirty. makeup on your shirt but I have a flat um you can either use a CD or a CD case or I have a flat like, like little, a palette type of thing yeah a flat palette because if you're in a pinch she's the top of the the I case. use like the inside of the can or sometimes I just I spray really really close to you my face to make a dot and then just go over with like a beauty blender or a buffing brush yeah, or something. You but. could do that. Um, longevity is awesome. Yeah. It doesn't oxidize too much. Um, yeah, I was very impressed with the longevity. It doesn't get oily. Like, your oil doesn't break through either. So it's yeah. really great and it photographs well. My photographer, my friend uh, for the blog was like, oh, you're... He's like, wow, your skin looks really good. I'm like, funny you should mention that. It's I'm so using a new foundation, <laughs> so it's pretty awesome. By the I way, like Dina it. has a fashion blog. I've talked about it before. I'm going to link it below as well. Um, you've had it for a year now. Is yeah. Today? No. It's, it's, it was this month. This last month, month, month like the one, one year, year anniversary. Birthday. Yeah. It's absolutely. It's beautiful. The outfits are cool. The photos are awesome. So check it out. I'll put Some it. Blushing. I'll put yeah, it all over the place. Awkward. You work hard on it. It's really nice. Yeah. I have two foundations, and drugstore foundations have just made me so happy this year. These have made me just as happy as my high end stuff, and it's the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I'll hold one. The it's color selection is kind of terrible, but for the price, they're both what ten dollars awesome. and. They are so good. If you have oily skin, you will love you will love these. Especially if you can get a good color match, that, that's even better. I always have to mix them with other stuff that I have. But I really, I really like them. I like the fact that they're affordable. I like the yeah. packaging. They're both easy to use. Travel. This is more matte than this. It has a little bit better oil control, but this one just looks a little bit nicer on the skin. It's a little bit more natural looking. But when you use a beauty blender, the beauty blender yes. can just save yeah. any any bad face makeup situation. Seriously. Get a beauty blender and it will it will work. And yeah, just been really into these. These are the foundations that I go to when I just want my foundation to last all day long at work. This is like my go-to work foundation. I have my Holy Grail concealer. It's my Giorgio Armani's Oh my god, it's so small. I know the writing is tiny. Jeez Louise. I think it's a perf perfect like touch or something. Precision. Retouch. High touch and number one. Wow, it took forever. This is awesome. I, I used to try use that. it. It's so good. It's funny because this is a bit of a salmon color. We'll have to It's like a pink undertone. Yeah, it's a pink undertone. Oh, I used to use fur. this under stuff, but then I one day as a mistake I just kind of put it on and I ran out the door and I realized that this was the best thing. Nice. Like, yeah. Oh, it looks it looks great. And I just use it on its own now. That's why I haven't been using anything else. Do you set it with a powder? No. No? You just, Nothing. You just, and I it just, doesn't crease? No. Girl, that's on. This that's, is that's cool. This is holy grail to try that ish right here. I kind of went a little bit overboard this year. I just have I have a lot of under eye concealers that I'm not very happy with, but I, I don't hate them, so I'm just trying to use them up. I know, I so, know. I have I have again. Two once layers. I use them up, I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I have two layers, so I'm trying to put this away to use the other ones. But yeah, it's hard when you have a product that's really really good. It's really hard to go back to using like the mediocre product. But you want to use the mediocre ones up because you spend so much money on I know. them. This has been very well loved. I even dropped it a few times and I had to like put Aww. it together. But this is my favorite blush of the year. It's the blush I'm wearing now. It's I know too. It's so I good. It's I good. just I love the finish of it. It's mm -hmm. like it's not matte, but it's got a it's not shimmery either. It's just got a little bit of a sheen. It's a beautiful neutral blush, especially if you like things like Tarte Exposed mm -hmm. or Burberry Earthy mm -hmm. or if you like, uh, what's another one, Nars Douceur. It's it's a nice neutral. It's just a nice neutral. It's really, really nice. Yep. Yeah. So nice. I just keep repeating myself. So nice. So nice. I just noticed that when I write cards for people, I'm so repetitive. I'm the worst. <laughs> I have just two more. One is again the Giorgio Armani um, lip pencil number 12 and then I got a sample of Chanel Le Volume number 10 Noir. I'm to try that mascara. Lots it's of people nice. love it. I like it. I didn't really load up on it, but it's nice. I usually don't like the plasticky brushes. I like the full-on um, old school. Like a brush, um, brush, 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 yeah. And that's all I have. I have a mascara too, and it has a plasticky wand. And this is so good. I also really like that Maybelline mascara that you got me. The yeah, I love rocket, that too. Not the Rocket. What's it called? No, it's a Colossal. Yellow. Oh, the Colossal's Something. awesome. I don't know. Oh. This is. I like this a little bit better just because it's more... Um, the one, the, the Maybelline one is a lot, gives you a lot thicker, yes. it gives you a lot more volume, yes. this gives you a little bit more length and separation. Okay. It's a super sizer, and the brush oh. looks like this. Oh, interesting. Yeah. If you like L'Oreal Telescopic, you will really like this. Because that's what the brush looks like. It looks similar to that, but this gives more volume okay. than the Telescopic. So, this gives volume and length, and it's awesome. And my cat. I'm super and excited about my cat. 
Dina got a cat this year and he's adorable. Yeah. He is he has he's kind of a jerk. He is, but he he doesn't want to be touched, but he likes to be like in the same room as He people. likes to have attention, but he doesn't like to be touched. Yeah. And if you pick him up, he's like, mm. like he just he grunts. <laughs> he makes really, really good get me out of here faces. Yeah. We we use his face for memes lots of times. He loves Sandra. If by love you mean he's totally indifferent that I'm there, then yes, he loves me very then much. He loves everybody. <laughs> he loves me the least. I think that's it. I have a happy 2016. Happy 2016. I'm, I'm actually getting hungry. So. Me too. We're gonna, yeah, we're, gonna go, we're gonna go eat. We're gonna go eat. Hope you're having an awesome day, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.